Hi guys, we're going to be making our second soap video today. Um, so I've got our oils and then this is basically the same thing I did last time. Olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, castor oil, and sweet almond oil. So all my oils are melted and they're at the temperature I need for soaping. And then so I am going to then put my lye water solution in it. I'm just going to pour it in here. Set that aside and hopefully I have everything I need to do soaping. It's, when you're doing these soap videos, it's really hard to pre-plan because last minute sometimes you'll come up with I want something extra but I've got some extra things in case I change my mind like glitter etc. Um, but right here, and let's see if you can see that really good, we're just going to mix this in. Again, this will be really noisy. Um, we'll work on figuring out editing for sound later, um, but I'm going to mix it up and tell that they're all blended together. <laughs> that's doing okay let's scrape off a little bit of this okay that side lost a spatula I'm gonna get one of my rags here and put this on top of it so okay so it's not completely all the way but I'm gonna still be mixing it in I'm gonna be splitting these off just kind of by line of sight and see if one's a little more than the other it's not going to be too big of a deal but I'm going to do a three color blend and I'm going to try see if we can do in the pot troll again um, I'm working with a fragrance oil that I have never used before so we're going to see once we add that in and the colorant we're going to see how fluidy it is hopefully we are pretty good um, to where we need. I'm gonna grab a spatula. I still have extras and I have a whole drawer full. I'm gonna scrape this out, try and get as much soap as I can out of it. Um, all that is goodness in there. So, okay, so we got these. And so what today I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna use Nurture Soap sea green mica powder and I'm gonna put a little bit of that into one and I'm gonna just put this this much into there tap that off set that to side I am gonna then try a celestial silver mica and I've never used these colors before but today I feel like being a little bit experimental this one inside is so, so I'm gonna try that. And I'll get that out that way. And then Nurture Soap, all of these are Nurture Soap. New Leaf Mica Powder. This one's kind of more of a, a lime green. I'm just gonna wash that off and then put it into here. All right, so that's gonna be interesting colors. We'll see how it works. and. When they get blended in, they change, um, and so we'll see. And then today, we are gonna be using, oh, of course I put the bottle away, um, but it's a sea cactus uh, from Be Scented. And let's see if I can even find it real quick. There it is. Cactus and Sea Salt by Be Scented. Okay, so I'm gonna just, Divide up that between these. There's, for my opinion, there's no really, if you put the colors and mix it and then put the fragrance oil and mix it, not too big of a deal. Other than fragrance oil will be, will make it so that it will trace faster. Okay, it's words, you know how it is. Um, so then I'm gonna just start mixing these up one by one. And then I'm gonna get my bowl back and we're gonna see if they're fluidy enough that we can do a swirl. Scrape the sides a little. 
than I expected, but I think we're gonna stick with it. I don't wanna mess too much so it gets um, accelerated um, too fast. So let's see if you guys can show you these up close. And they're already getting stiff. So we're gonna try and see what we can do with this. Um, I try new fragrances all the time. I look at the research, and this is actually still not bad. Look at how fluidy that is still. Um, but. I will test out one with my recipe because everybody's recipes are different. And then I will make my notes on it so I can know how that, that new fragrance oil will work. It's really important to do, keep logs of what you've made soaps, what stuff you've used in them. Um, because if a customer wants you to make them over again, it's good to know that. But also like if you've had a really bad behaving fragrance oil and you're looking for something like say watermelon watermelon is um a soap a lot of people like but there's a lot of watermelon fragrance oils like i think i could be wrong but i have to look at my notes but i believe that crafter's choice juicy watermelon i used one time and like that thing sees i can even get color in it it went so fast and so um, that would be one that I would only use in bath bombs going forward. I would not use it for uh, anything else other than that. Well, and Mountain Pour would be okay too. I have to would lo have to look at the vanilla in content because vanilla makes soaps turn brown. You can use a vanilla stabilizer um, and add it into it, but even vanilla stabilizer after time, see how stiff that's getting? will um, make it so that it still turns brown. You know, it only works for so long, so. But melon pour scents, soaps will lose their scent over time. Um, all soaps will be, but cold process soaps seem to hold their, their things a little bit better. So it's getting a pretty stiff right here already. So I'm just gonna do a very loose kind of, just trying to blend those colors in a little bit. Okay, I use these molds basically. They're just cheap Amazon molds. I'm hoping that I can get this in here and I'm gonna have to do some uh, patting down with it so we can try and get air bubbles. My orange and purple soap I made the other day, um, that one will just got like so stiff. This is still pretty soft. I can mush it and you see how I can move that around. Not too big of a deal, but that one just, it was stiff and so um, I'm going to try and use my spatula smooth it down make sure I try and push down as it is I don't know if you heard that little that was a little air bubble <laughs> I know great sound effects <laughs> but we'll see how it goes and then I'll just keep adding in and I think maybe I'm getting messy here do a tap we get some of those air bubbles coming to the top and then get this in there. See how fast we can go. I've had some soaps that I've worked with were just gorgeous and easy flowing. And then lately, I've had a bunch of soaps that just want to be stiffer, but that's okay. I mean, that is what every soap maker, there's nobody out there that has never had that happen. At least not that I would ever think so. I mean, you start out and you're doing that and I'm still pretty new to it. With the cold process anyway, most soapers, not all, but we all start out with a mountain pour soap. And we try our hands at that and then we go, in, we, we go into cold process. I was so nervous to try cold process 
you know, like I heard about lye solution and, you know, and how that it's very caustic and you can get burns and that. And so I was, I was just so nervous. <laughs> and so I did so much research, so much research on it. And I just, I just didn't have the guts to try it. And then finally one day I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. You should have seen me. I had so much protection on. I looked like I was going into a nuclear power plant. I had the big, huge goggles and all this stuff on, this mask that they use for construction. And I made, had these long soap sleeves. And I mean, not to say that I don't get ever soap like up on my arms, but if I do, I have baby wipes. That's my thing. I choose to have baby wipes. And I just wipe it off really quickly. Um, it's a very rare thing because you kind of get so you do my hands on the other hand. I don't know how people soap without gloves. A, first thing, it's more sanitary. Anything I touch on the soap has gloves, but you can definitely get like, um, it's more of kind of like a rash. If you let it sit, of course it would be worse, but um, it's not as bad as they did. They say um, the thing I think that is the worst in regards to that is when you're are doing the light water with the, the lie with the water, <laughs> trying to explain it and concentrate on what I'm doing at the same time, uh, that you you have a steam that comes up, and that is definitely when you should be wearing a mask. You should be making sure that you're not breathing in that stuff. It'll make you cough and choke, and anything that does that can't be that good for your lungs. So, all right. So I am going to wipe up the edges here. And I'm hoping that even though I was pushing down, that when we cut it, that those colors you can see, we'll have to see with cutting. And so I have got these succulents in beds. Now I'm gonna push them down in here. I did only 35 ounces into this so that I knew it would be at the top. Um, some soaps, obviously when I cut, we're gonna have the succulents will be cut, but we're gonna try and place them all over and make sure that every piece has succulents. There shouldn't be any of them that don't. And so we'll just do, and I just did, I was experimenting with different layers of melt and pour. They kinda, kinda look a little bit odd. Let's see, that's a little extra. I have to get that out. I'll get it out later. Um, but I think that I like them, they're kinda different. I mean, everything's an experiment. You can either toss it if something doesn't come out and start anew or remelt it and change the colors or just see how it goes because we are all so different. Oh, of course, a little piece of melt and pour, come on up. Oh, we'll get a spoon. Not where I wanted it. But we're all different. So what one person likes, another person doesn't. And that's okay. Um, but I th love blue, it's my favorite color. And I thought a little bit of gold would be with. In my head, it was completely different though. Looks like a little baby one. See if we can do this one there. There you go. And then another big one. And got a little one right here we can do. And I got one more baby one. Let's see, was that too much? Yeah, we got it to fit. Okay, so that is what it's looking at right about now. Now I can leave this as is, but I've always been known to be a little extra person. I like to try and be different. So, I love glitter. It's Tuesdays. It wouldn't be a work meeting if I didn't come to work with glitter on because this seems to be the thing now. So I am going to put, this is a little bit of Twinkle Blue Crafter Choice Eco-Friendly Glitter. And I'm going to just put it in. I got it in a little shout shaker. Let's see, that kind of like adds a teeny bit extra to that. Look at that. And I think, I may regret it, but I think I'm gonna do this. This one is 
Crafter's Choice. I think it's the Gold Coast. Pretty sure I have it back here. Let's see if I can see it. Not off the bat. I just filled it, so I probably said, oh, here it is. Now I want to show you the, this. See, like, there's all kinds, but look at how pretty that one is. And it's the Gold Coast Holiday Mica Powder. So, again, safe soap product. This one I'm wanting to put just, whoops, we'll see. It has its own mind. And that might have been too much extra. But I'm gonna go over a little bit again with this. And then this here, we'll just spurge it a little bit. And so, cause I'm so, I love glitter. So, and then I'll do that again, just everything will set. It will kind of make um, the glitter move a little bit and run. So, at least in my opinion. See, like right here, I think I've got like too much. If I spray it there, it'll help it run off a little. I don't know how other soapers do it. That's just how it works out in my head. And I'm just gonna clean up these edges. Get all the glitter off the sides. Not that it matters, it's just a my thing. And then I'm gonna show you it up close. Look at this. I think it's gonna be beautiful. And so one of these uh, will make me nine bars of soap, and then I'll get a little bit of the end pieces each that will make a little sample, which I will either has, have a hole or is this, or is in, um, cut them in half. But they're just really thin samples, and so when people do uh, really big orders, I'll put in some of those samples because they actually last a few baths. It's a quite amazing. Um, but this is the soap for today. I don't have a name for it. Sometimes I like to go onto my Facebook and ask people, I'm going to push this one down a little bit, ask people what their ideas are, and I let my customers name the soaps. Sometimes I come up with names or have one in my head already, like my Georgia Peach soap. Um, I love the name of the fragrance oil, Georgia Peach. I'm like, this has to be named Georgia Peach. But for this one, I think I am gonna see what people decide to name it. Um, I'm on Facebook, just in regards to, that's where we do drawings, and you get like behind the scenes and get to be included on things and find out what's the happening anytime anything's going to the store. For under Facebook, we are called Our Creation Lab. You can also find all these soaps in our Etsy store, which is Etsy uh, shop, Our Creation Lab. If you just put in Our Creation Lab, it should bring you right to you. So if you want this soap and it smells amazing and fresh, go ahead and come to our store and We'll have it ready for you in about four weeks, all right? And thank you. Subscribe, comment below, like this video so we can get started. I'm going to try and do a video each week. We'll see how that goes. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.